welcome to my YouTube channel, Poly Arts Co., where we talk about resin and other forms of crafting. In my previous video, um, the winter resin, winter landscape resin pendant, I used a deer and tree silhouette on the pendant. And I said that you can do this on your own, you can actually do it yourself. Or you can buy from other crafters, like from Etsy, and Amazon would probably have stickers. Um, but these are not made of stickers, they are actually using transparency film. I find that if you use stickers, the placement is actually kind of hard, because um, it sticks to your... your um, it can stick to your gloves, and the placement can be not as precise as I would like. You, you've seen me how I've done it on this pendant, and it's easier if it's using transparency film. Um, you, you can see another example that I created here, and I'll tell you how, how that one is done. But basically what you would need is a transparency film. Um, this one is by Apollo, and you have to be careful of making sure that you're buying it for the printer that you have here. It's laser printer transparency film. Um, I actually have an inkjet and a, a laser printer, but uh, this was given to me a long, long time ago, and I just remembered that I had it, so I'm now using it. There's 50 sheets on it. Um, transparency film is not inexpensive. Um, they mostly come in 50 sheets, but I've seen it in Amazon that you can get it for 11 something for 20 sheets. Okay, pardon the noise, the background noise. It's now minus 14 degrees here in uh, Toronto, so there's my furnace going, but Let's go back to the topic on hand. Um, again, on Amazon, I saw this for 20 sheets. You can get, you, you, you're paying for uh, about $12, so about 50, 60 cents a sheet. And I think that's pretty good because you can really do a lot with just, even with just one sheet, if you're just doing the size that I use here. Here is an example of what I've done. Um, in a short while, we'll, we're going to a video that I've taken on how I did it online. Basically, what we're doing is getting um, other fonts, actually. These are actually fonts from, from the font.com, and they are free for use, free for personal use, either free for personal use or... 100% um, free so make sure that you are having that setting on your on when you're downloading the font to make sure that you are not infringing on somebody else's copyright right? and we want to give credit to the people who make the stuff that we are using uh, and yep here's the short video
was furnace noise a while ago. It's actually minus 14 outside now in Ontario. So one other way I use I create the silhouettes is to draw using the Procreate app on my iPad and it's you can see it's just scruffling um, to make the trees because you you will print it so small just like this hold on just like this that you can't really tell that it's a scruffly tree tree right so make sure before you actually uh, print this or send it to your um, word or other um, document uh, creator to make sure that you turn off the background color we want to make sure that it's not gonna get printed or anything it's easier to print on to put on your paper and then you go to this um, what do you call this like a, a the action yes um, and then you you share and then use PNG and then you export you can save the image to your to your iPad and then use it again the same way as you would have used the font except you're adding as a it as a picture rather than as a font and so that's how I would do it with using um, the iPad. So one other way to have silhouettes is to go to Bing.com. I go to Bing.com for this particular for images because they allow me to um, select the license type on what kind of images to show me. And usually I just do free to modify, share, and use commercially just to make sure that, you know, we are not infringing upon other people's um, ideas and they, the images that we are using are legally for us to use. And mostly we're using this for personal use, right? Just like how I mentioned, well, how I showed you on the video reducing the fonts we want to make sure that we are using it correctly so you can see here there's so many deer images even sceneries like this that you can put in a clear resin and it should look very nice um, one other thing i'd like to mention is that printers do not print white and <laughs> I I actually use up a lot of paper or in this case sticker paper and you can see here you could see a block of um st uh, of emptiness actually cuz I was trying to print white and I realized that you know printers do not actually print white because they expect most of the stuff we have to be white paper and then you print color on it so this is sticker paper and i've actually tried a few stuff on it it's sticky it's hard to use so i still recommend using transparency paper you can actually have some some stuff in color and they should look nice but really it i think having having um the black silhouette would make the most impact on the on resin and that's it um if you like this video please comment and subscribe thanks up give me a thumbs up thank you